Hey guys, it's Michelle. This is like the third time I'm filming this video, but finding my zen here. Um, it's been kind of an emotional 24 hours for me, and I'm going to explain um, to you now, obviously. Um, I was transferred from the office that I'm in now to a new office, and it's not a bad thing. Um, it's not a demotion, it's not a promotion, it was just that I was needed somewhere else, which is great and all, but I'm so attached to who I was working with and the client base that we had that this has been such an emotional roller coaster the past 24 hours. Like, seriously, I've been like on and off crying um, since it happened. Like, I literally had two seconds to make a decision. Like, either, you know, it was like, li I didn't even have time to think. It was just not really even a decision. It was like, hey, um, we're, we're sending you here because you're not needed here anymore. I'm like, oh, thanks. But um, the people I've met that I will be working with are very sweet. They're very nice. Um, I do know one of the women that I'll be working with. So that kind of eased me in a little bit, which was, trust me, if I worked with all brand new people, I'd probably be like shaking like a leaf. And um, the client base that I've met so far, I want to say 99.9% .9 of them so far have been so, so sweet and so wonderfully supportive and stuff. I can't say enough. And the area is actually... I haven't been in that area in years, so it's a little different than what I remembered. But, um, actually quite beautiful. I, I have to, like, one of these days bring you and show you the streets. It's actually kind of pretty, um, very historical old, um, buildings. Um, the building that I'm working in now isn't. The building I just came out of is over 100 years old. And, um, this, this is a newer building, but still there's, there's quirks to it that's quite pretty. Anyway, I had bought these shoes for my job. Um, I'm not sure if I'll be wearing I've worn them to my last office. I'm not sure if I'll be wearing them. It depends on how many hours I'll be working that day. Blah, blah, blah. What I'm doing. We'll see. But anyway, they're Madden girls, so they're Steve Madden's. And I paid. I don't know if you saw the price on here. There it is. It was $45, but I paid $15 for them. So, like, super stoked. Wait till you see them. Look at this shoe, okay? Now it's a wedge, which makes them easier to walk in, which makes this perfect for work, in my opinion. Girls, if you are not comfortable in heels, but you want that heel and you're like in a work setting, go with the wedge. They're more comfortable. You'll get your, what I like to call, heel legs ready. Then you can slowly move up to a nice heel. But a wedge you can't go wrong with as far as um, longevity. Anyway, this is it, and look, it's got black glitter and these beautiful, beautiful, glittery stars. What I liked about this, because I'm all about glitter and rocking it, I mean, look what I'm wearing. This I actually did wear to work with my blazer, but I took the blazer off because it is hot, and I'm loving it. Anyway, um, what I liked about this, because it's a basic black shoe, this can go with everything. And with the little stars and all different colors, again, it goes with absolutely everything. And it also is my little way of my personal style coming out with the glitter. It's not one of those shoes that's when it's on with a pair of work pants, it peeps out just enough where it gets your attention, but it's not one of those things that's over powerful as far as like, oh my God, that's really grotesque. But I love it. I mean, what's that to love? And for the price, I died. I couldn't believe, because I've seen shoes um, that weren't even name brand, that weren't even like a Madden girl, that were just will say like um I don't want to say store brand but like places like the Deb and stuff like that or a Target store where the shoes aren't like name like higher name brands but their shoes are still decent um I've seen go for way more than $15 for a shoe so I thought I got a steal on this shoe and I think it's absolutely adorable I will wear this outside of work I mean there's so much you can do with this shoe but I think the way, with the little platform and everything, I just think it looks adorable with a pair of work slacks. Because I like how that makes your foot look. I don't know. There's something about a platformed toe that I think is absolutely adorable. And I got it for a steal. Anyway, the next thing I got... I know I was going to buy more work-related clothing. This is far from it, trust me on that. But the price is what got me. And I was like, if the price is right, I have to pick it up. And the price was right. Anyway, I got this from... PCX Clothing Company. I thought the store was called something else, but this is the bag they gave me. And I've gotten 
some things from them before that I absolutely love because they're reasonably priced. Um, quality can go either way. You really have to check your quality on certain items, but I've gotten some decent stuff there that's held up really nicely and I only paid like five bucks for. Anyway, it's a maxi dress. It's a red maxi. Typical, you know, relaxing kind of thing. And it was a $9.99, which is pretty good for a maxi dress in my opinion. But this is the killer. Ready, girls? Oh, I can't wait. Look at this. Look at that. This is the midriff area. And I don't know, but I have hardly seen any cutouts in this area. I have another, I have a Playboy dress. Maybe I'll do an outfit of the day. It does have a low cut that does go to the midriff area. But this, I love that cut. I think I like unusual cuts to begin with, as you already know. I love cold shoulder tops and stuff like that. So when I saw that, I was like, I have to. And I've been toning, I've been working out, and re like I show you, I'm sure you saw my favorites video. So you already know I've been doing belly dancing and stuff like that. And it's really like it tones your arms and everything like that. So I'm gonna be looking good, and I can't wait to get that dress on. Oh, love it. Sorry guys. Anyway, in the last place I went to, and this is also kind of work related, because that was the main reason why I went there. You know my obsession, girls. You know it. Anyway. I have one of those coupons to get a free signature item, so I'll show you that first. Oh, I got coupons. Free gift with any floral size, May 4th. Hmm. I hope I'm not working on May 4th, because you get a free, beautiful day um, spray, which would be awesome. So if I don't, if I get it, and if I don't keep it for myself, maybe I'll give it to one of you guys. We'll see. What's this? Free signature collection with a $10 purchase. And they got a new scent coming out called Pure Paradise. So that sounds awesome. Hang on to that. Anyway, the item I got is from their newer collection. And this stuff smells great. You really had to try it. Anyway, it is called Capri Seaside Citrus. I love anything citrus, as you know. Vanilla Teeny is like my love. Ah, now I will read the description. The description's a little different. Fragrance is sparkling getaway to a blissful, sun-drenched beaches of southern Italy. Top notes of mandarin grapefruit, sparkling bergamot, and juicy nectar. Mid is mugit. It's like midget with two U's. Like, let me see that. Mugit? I know you can't see it, so I don't even know why I bothered. Orange flower and coconut. And then the dry, or I guess a darker tone is amber driftwood creamy musks and whipped vanilla but when you smell it it's so good it, it's like going back to cape cod and i love it oh i love it love it love it it smells so good and i got this for free and they're 11 dollars a piece normally so that's why i always love getting those coupons because i love even though i have a stash of these if my mother needs one because she ran out i always will throw her one or a friend whoever wants a lotion now the next thing I got because you had to spend ten dollars to get the free item I needed um I go through a lot of sanitizer at work and my little guys that I've been showing you in my items I've used up as you can tell I use a lot of them up um though that box is like maybe a month at a time when I do that so I go through quite a bit and my stash has dwindled to maybe five left which I will use up obviously but anyway, when I went there and I'm looking through their new ones that I was checking out, it's either I already have had it, which isn't bad, but I want to try something. I like trying new things. I'm always trying something new. I don't, there's certain things that I will stick to because they're a go-to and they're just amazing generally, but I always like trying something new at the same time. I'll get like, even with my lotions and my soaps that you see, I always get two apple, but I always get two or three, um soaps that are unique or different or haven't I haven't tried yet just because I like keeping things interesting so anyway when I smelt their new ones I didn't like the scent some of them were very disgusting I'm just gonna say it I didn't like them personally and the other ones I've already had or tried and I didn't want I wanted something new anyway they had the big ones which is perfect for my job because I, this should last me a while anyway the first one I got was the Bella Flora, which was perfect because I was looking for a scent that I haven't tried yet. And this fit the bill. And, of course, the sanitizers. Why don't the sanitizers ever tell you what they smell like, other than, like, 
berries. You know what I mean? Have you ever noticed that with them? Or marshmallow. But certain ones that had the weird names, like, um, peach, apple, bellini. I mean, I know there's peach and apple in it, but I mean, there's undertones, you know what I mean? But this is Bella Flora, which is beautiful flower. And it is very Bella Flora. Um, I know a little Italian. I am half Italian, so I do know a little Italian. But if you didn't know Italian, I'm sure you would know what a Bella Flora is. But the bottle is pretty. I'm probably going to use this one first just because it's springy and summery. The second one, and you're going to be like, we already know, Michelle. It is apples. You can't go wrong with an apple scent. And I wish that they had a big one in peach. I didn't see one when I went. They might have one, but I didn't see one when I went. Because if they do, I'll be getting that next. I'm going to start buying these big ones because I go through those little ones like no tomorrow. I'll keep them for my purse and use these for my desk. And even when I first discovered Bath & Body Works when I was a teenager, um, apple sanitizer was my favorite. Ah! And it still smells just as good now. But they didn't have these awesome bottles back then. But then again, I didn't have a desk job back then either, so. But that is my apple one. And like I said, I've been wanting to get the big one for a while. But when I first saw them, I was like, oh, I like the little fun ones. They're so cute and stuff. And then I did the math on how much I'll be saving by buying the big one. I mean, you get 2.6 ounces more-ish, I think I figured it out. For the same price as five of the little ones. And like I said, I mean, I love the little ones for my purse, so I'll still buy those. But for my desk, and I'm going through so many of them, um, this will last me a bit longer. And I'm probably going to buy one or two for my ladies, my lovely girls that I'm leaving behind at my other branch. I miss you guys already. I know none of you are probably watching because half of them, I don't think, are on YouTube. But if you are watching, guys, I love you so much. I miss you. And I will see you soon. Anyway, guys, that is my haul video. And thank you for watching. Thank you for doing me being kind of emotional. Because it's been an emotional 24 hours, like I have said. Oh, I'm like... I'm a ball of mess and disgustingness because, um, like I said, I'm very, very attached to the people that I worked with. Um, I love my customer base, like I had said, but it was the people, if you don't get along with who you work with, that can either make or break you in a job, um, regardless. It only takes one bad seed to ruin it for everybody, and I was lucky I didn't have any bad seeds. I love my manager that I had to, to work with. I love the other girls that I worked with. It was just a wonderful experience all around, and I can't complain at all. I mean, I looked forward to going to work. Um, as far as the new situation, the people I have met, we're still feeling each other out. I do not feel like there's any bad seeds here. I feel um, very confident that we we're, we're going to all get along. We were joking with each other, even though we haven't worked with each other that much. I think we worked with each other for four hours in the past schmeal that's been going on. So, um, but I, I have high hopes. I feel very confident about it. And even though it's scary and I'm a little upset at the moment, I know in the end this is all going to work out um, for the best for everybody involved. So I am um, looking forward to that. But at the same time, I'm going to miss my, my stupid little desk that I'm leaving behind. <laughs> it sounds so weird, but you know, like you, anybody who ever worked in a desk job, you have everything set up and you get it set a certain way and you like the way it's set up and you're very picky about it. And then they move you to another desk, which is a lot smaller. And I have no idea, like it's set up for, I am ambidextrous, but it's set up for a lefty and I'm used to certain things being on the left, certain things being on the right, and now it's switched. So now i got to switch myself. Anyway guys, thank you for watching and I truly appreciate every single one of you for hearing me out on my little rants and stuff like that and for watching my videos obviously of course. So keep your eyes open for more giveaways. I do have one up now, if it's not already up. Um, with the gift card, and there'll be another one coming up soon as well. I haven't figured that one out. I'm still thinking in my head what I'm going to do for that one. Because um, the first one was beauty related. The next one, like we're doing now, is gift card. And I haven't thought about the next one yet, so I'm thinking. You know, the, the gears are moving, guys. I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye.